Typical bloke. A night of passion and you want nothing to do with me. You're a journalist. I shouldn't have anything to do with you. Well, come on, Neil. Everything's fallen into place. You and me, the story that I've been chasing for so long. Are you sure you're going to get this last bit of information today? Positive. And after you've got it, you will resign. I'll be sorry to leave, son, now. But, yeah, that'll be my last day. And we can be together. Have you tracked down Andrea yet? Yep, no answer from her home phone or her mobile. Have you tried the Daily News office? Yep, no comment, this is. Well, she needs to know that she's giving evidence against Alan Kennedy in his trial this morning. The yeah, irony is she's a really good cop, huh? Clearly too good to be true. How many of them are there out there? It's quite a few, sir. The Metropolitan Police is accountable at all times to the public we serve and welcomes legitimate scrutiny. But this kind of undercover journalism is both deplorable and irresponsible. The entire matter is currently under investigation and there will be a further statement in due course. Thank you. Ooh, that, Andrea Dunbar. She's an undercover reporter. What? Read my exclusive report on the workings of a Met police station all this week in the Daily News. Yeah, I must say, the uh, photo on page three is rather disappointing. Well, the whole thing's disappointing. You'd find out more about Sunhill if you spent half an hour in the canteen. Why did she decide to go public on this today, then? <sighs> Who cares? As long as she shows up for court today. Can't wait to see Kennedy's face when he gets sent down for all those rapes. It's a bit of a shocker, eh, Gov? Yeah. I'll take it you didn't know. Mm. Yeah, well, you were seeing her a while. Must make you wonder whether she, uh, had you say anything out of order. Listen, if it all comes out, you're in a rather sticky situation. Front page news. Oh no. We're going to inspect a gold office. Smithy. Save it for the inspector. Uh, my, my editor's done this, not me. I, I didn't want anything published, not like this. Who'd have thought it, eh? Think it's yourself, Gabriel. You're a disgrace to the uniform. I'm not the only person that's a disgrace to the uniform. I would have quit before now, but I needed to find out more about Gabriel. Is this about solving a crime or writing a good story? You know he's covering something up, Smithy. Does that make two of you? It doesn't change anything. It changes everything. Come in. Well, at least we know now who's responsible for the leaks. I'm surprised you had the call to show your face. Oh, please, spare me the false humility. My editor wrote the story, not me. It feels nice to be stitched up, doesn't it? Can I see what it says? Well, I doubt there's anything that you don't already know. Not only have you committed the cardinal sin of betraying your colleagues, you've also broken the law. I accepted this assignment because I thought it was important. All right. But the longer that it got... Uh, found it hard, did you? Lying to your mates every day, exploiting their trust, betraying their confidences. Oh, poor you. I was hoping that the story would never be published. No, that is either another downright lie or you are unbelievably naive. I certainly didn't want it to be published while I was still working here. Well, your editor just couldn't resist it. What better way to humiliate this station than to unveil his star reporter on the day she's about to take centre stage in a rape trial? I've been called to give evidence against Kennedy. Mm, should you try keeping your mobile on? You'll be escorted to and from the court. Superintendent Okara will see you on your return and you'll be taken to DPS headquarters and interviewed. No doubt suspended. Mr. Bantry, it's Andrea Dunbar. Dunbar, I met you yesterday. Yes, yes. Um, listen, did you send me that press cutting? You did. Thanks. No, no, that's all I needed to know. Yeah, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, too. Bye. Phoning in one last story. You know I begged Bruce not to print anything today. Well, he's a journalist, isn't he? We all know they can't be trusted. 
Here. Hang on. Before we go any further, is this on the record or off the record? Oh, please. Any idea how much I've been compromised? Yes, of course I do. Do you care? I'll make things right, I promise. Well, what are you going to do? Print a retraction? I've told you. I'm on the verge of breaking something really big. Bigger than undercover reports that works for the Met. I thought we talked about all of this last night. I did, but today, this morning, you see you're on the front cover of the Daily News, Andrea. So my plans have gone pear-shaped. You know that I didn't want this. Do I? You know, you tell me one thing, and then you do another. Neil, please, yeah, look at me. Sorry. Look at me. I love you, and if you love me, you'll trust me. It's time. PC Dunbar, are you the undercover journalist referred to in this morning's edition of the Daily News? Yes, I am. Is that why you're not in uniform? It was thought inappropriate. But for the time being, I'm still a police officer. For the time being? I have been told that I will probably be suspended. It makes no difference to my evidence. I took my job as a police officer very seriously. As seriously as you took your job as a journalist? Very much so. With all due respect, PC Dunbar, I find that very difficult to believe. As I'm sure do your police colleagues sitting in the court. Uh, Sunhill has enjoyed a certain amount of uh, press coverage in the last few months. Each story prefaced by the words, an informed source. Maybe you can enlighten us as to whether you were that source. Superintendent Stoned, Cannabis Sting, Nets, Sunhills, Ocaro. <laughs> Did you provide that story or was there some other informed source within the station? That was me. Rape claim, rocks met, sniper killing, police cover-up. The list goes on and on. I'm surprised you ever found time to walk the beat. <laughs> so how long have you been in a relationship with her? Sir? Come on. I'm not a fool. I saw the two of you out here. And it was clearly a lot more personal than professional. I've been seeing her for a while. And when did you find out that she was a journalist? I didn't, um... I want a full report of every piece of sensitive information you've shared with her. And now I'm going to offer you a simple choice. You either end your relationship or you end your career at Sun Hill. Or maybe it's not such a simple choice after all. Don't take too long thinking about it. Isn't it true, PC Dunbar? You have a vested interest in the case against my client. I have an interest in putting a serial rapist behind bars. But I wouldn't say it was vested. Before you joined the Daily News and worked undercover with the Metropolitan Police, you were a journalist with the Glasgow Post. That's right. And while working for the Glasgow Post, you reported a story concerning a victim of rape, Brenda Kelman, the first alleged victim of the defendant. I did. As the members of the jury will see, this is a good, strong piece of writing. Articulate, sensitive, compassionate. You obviously felt a great deal of sympathy for this young woman. She'd suffered a great deal. You met her then? I interviewed her, yes. And you concluded the piece by urging anyone who might have information concerning the identity of the rapist to come forward. That's standard procedure. You really wanted him caught, didn't you? Of course I did. Oh, you weren't uh, directly involved in the arrest of Mr. Kennedy, were you? No. But. You were responsible for booking in the one piece of evidence that led to him being charged for this alleged offence. I don't know if the hunting knife was the only piece of evidence. So, let's see. Firstly, we had the arresting officer, Detective Sergeant Nixon, 
who used oppressive questioning and a seductive choice of clothing to force a confession from Mr. Kennedy. And now we have the officer who signed in the knife, PC Dunbar, an undercover journalist who'd struck up a friendship with one of the victims. It wasn't like that. You really wanted Mr. Kennedy to be charged with these alleged offences, didn't you? All I wanted was justice. Justice, PC Dunbar, or Journalist of the Year. Without further questions.